Okay, good morning Veritas scientists. Hi. Johanna is my helper today with our experiment. Say hi. Hi. She's so excited. She just took her tub and now we're going to get a little bit dirty here as we do a science experiment. So on the left we have a cup here of soil. This is organic matter because most of the things in here were at one point alive. They're dead now, but at one point these things were alive. So this is a stick. This is organic matter. It, it used to be a part of an alive plant or an alive tree or bush. Now it's dead and it's part of our soil. And if you look through, there's lots of other things. There are some rocks, those are inorganic. So there's some inorganic matter in here, but for the most part, most of this, you can see there's like little um, twigs and little roots from old plants that have died. Okay, so this organic matter has a little bit of organic matter in it, like the rocks and things, but for the most part, it is organic stuff that would be really good for growing, okay? This is a cup of sand. I bought it, and I bought it in a bag of sand, okay? So this is just sand. Most of this is inorganic matter. It's little pieces of rocks and other minerals that have broken down and become tiny, tiny, fine little pieces and um, never were alive. That's why they're inorganic. They were not alive ever in time, where a lot of this is organic because it was at one point alive. So that's the big difference between organic matter and inorganic matter, okay? So in the last lesson, we learned about how sand drains really quickly, and it also does not hold on to the nutrients very well, right? There's not very many nutrients in here. Okay, and it doesn't hold the roots in, sorry, it doesn't hold the roots of the plant in very well. So the plant is more likely to tip over because it's not really well grounded or held in there. Where the soil would allow roots to go down into it and grab on and it would do a good job at holding a plant into place. Okay, but what we're looking at here are two things. We're going to look at the water that drains through and we're going to see the difference between the water that comes through the organic matter and the water that comes through the inorganic matter. And we're also looking for the speed at which they drain. All right. So what we did, I measured out a half a cup of water and I put it in her pink cup. I measured a half a cup of water, the same amount, and put it in my Patriots cup. Go Patriots. Ready, Jojo? So your job is going to be to pour into the organic matter, into the soil, and we're going to do it at the same time. And we're going to watch the water as it drains through this coffee filter that I put and taped on both. Uh, All right. So ready? One, two, three, go. Pour it and then move your hand. Okay, done? Okay, now let's watch it. Good. So look at how fast the sand is draining. Watch out, Charlie. See how fast it's coming down? Watch out, buddy. Okay, it's draining in like a stream. This one already came through, so this one drained pretty well also. Okay. So they're both pretty much done draining down. We saw that the soil actually drained a little bit faster, but the sand, as soon as it started to drain through, it came down all kind of at once and it just was able to drain straight down through that sand. Okay, and now as we look at the water that is left in the bottom, this is all sandy water. There is no nutrients in that water. It just has little bits of sand that came through the filter right but for the most part that is just water with some little bits of sand in it okay this actually this time is much cleaner than I expected okay but the water that comes through here the water that came through it is going to have a lot more nutrients in it because there's a lot of organic matter in this cup so a lot of it is going to come and sink down through it and the water is going to take the good stuff with it. It's going to take that organic matter with it, which is really going to be helpful for growing. So if a plant were to take this water and drink it, it's going to be a lot better for it to grow because of the nutrients that are in it because of the soil that had all that nutrient in it before the water drained through. Where this, you would not be able to grow anything out of this water because there's very, very little nutrients at all. It's just water and a little bit of 
tiny, tiny pieces of rock. There's very little organic matter in here where this would be excellent soil for growing. Lots of organic matter in that water that's down there, lots of nutrients, and that is what is gonna make it better for growing than this sand. Okay, so thank you, Johanna, give her some snaps. Yeah, there's Charlie. Hi, Charlie, and my mountain bike, of course. He did a good job. And let's look at these questions. This is a question, one question I would like you to answer. Organic matter, it tells you the definition, is dead plants and animals and their waste that becomes part of the soil. So this soil had lots of organic matter in it, which was good. It has lots of nutrients and is good for growing. Where the sand had mostly inorganic matter, it never was alive. So the water that's going to go through it is not going to be very good for growing. Okay? So here's the question after watching the experiment. Answer the following question. Even though sand is not good for growing crops by itself, right, you can't grow crops out of just sand, why would we want there to be some sand in the soil that we use to grow crops? So even though sand is not great for growing because it does not give it the nutrients that those plants need, why do we want there to be some sand in the soil? Like when we talked about here, we said this one was the best because there was lots of organic matter. But there is some sand and there is some clay in the soil. So my question is why do we want there to be some sand in the soil that we use to grow crops? Just not a lot of it. All right, and that's it. Thank you to our viewers. Hope you guys have a great weekend. And that's it. We'll see you on Monday. Bye.